a little YouTube black metal ASMR. Uh, I just finished recording this video, and then when I was about to edit the video, I realized that my phone, I'm recording on my phone right now, but my phone had run out of memory and it stopped recording automatically. So I wasn't very happy about that. So now it started all over. But anyway, this video is not an ASMR video, it's just um, an informative video, okay? And I need to hurry up because I'm doing laundry right now and I don't want my dryer to make that big old buzzing sound. Okay, so recently I bought two PlayStation 3 controllers from V-Stock. All right, and they're listed as authentic and brand new. Um, and I drove to three different cities, okay, because I went to the first V-Stock, they did have one. Uh, so I wanted the second one, so I drove to one in another city named Chesterfield. They didn't have one, so I drove to one in a city named St. Peter's which is over an hour away from me. They had one. Okay, <clears throat> now the f first um, controller I bought is right here, it's this white one. It came in this box and I paid, well, I paid $55 before taxes. Here is the receipt. You see that big old V stock right there and then 527 okay which was a little more than a week ago because uh, right now it's June the 4th okay but I paid right there $55 okay the second one is right here this blue one they sold it to me for $40 because the box was damaged. It just had a big old dent in this box. Okay, now quickly I'm going to go over the differences between these counterfeits and these authentics that I have right here. Now, one of the biggest differences is that the authentic, let me see, well, right here. Here's a label for the authentic. Is a label for the counterfeit. A lot less information. See, authentic counterfeit. Another difference is that the authentic is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it says DC 5 volts right here. Okay, direct current 5 volts. Counterfeit says DC. 3.7 volts. Okay, the same as with this blue one. Okay, that label that doesn't even make sense. Another issue is that the authentics, <clears throat> they each have their unique serial number at the bottom of the label. Each serial number on the authentics is 13 digits long. On these counterfeits, they both have the same serial number. Okay, they're 12 digits long. See, this ends in 5225, 12 digits. This one ends in 5225, 12 digits. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm gonna read it if you didn't see it. It says 71171980522. And that same serial number. It's in a bunch of YouTube videos that have these counterfeit PlayStation 3 controllers. Okay. Another difference, like when you click on these uh, toggle sticks on the counterfeits, listen. Okay. Now, 
they sound different than the ones on the authentic. See? Wait. Okay. Not a big difference. Another issue. Okay. Um let me see. Right here. Look at this this crease, like where the top portion and the bottom portion join. It's even, it's smooth, just precise. Now, we look at the one on the counterfeits. I'll show you the white one because it's easier to see on camera. It's uh, the gap right here is a little bigger than the gap right here. And you can see a little opening if you, let me see, if you tilt it down a little bit, there's a little opening. The same openings on this blue one. You can't really see it. I'll try to show you anyway. <laughs> right there. Now, on the Authentics, there is no opening. It's just all smooth. Um, you won't be able to see it, but there. Okay. Mm. What else? Oh, well, oh uh, yeah. On the authentic controller, when you look at DualShock 3 and 6 axis, they are parallel. Everything is parallel, okay? Everything, even on this other one, parallel. You look at the counterfeits, it looks like somebody was drunk when they were trying to put these things on. Look at them. They're kind of leaning like that. Okay, and you look at these, the print on that one and on this one. They're both not straight at all. And then the label, same thing with the label on this blue counterfeit. It's not really parallel is kind of leaning like that again okay on the authentics they are straight I'll show you one this one's a little dirty I don't want, I don't want y'all to see my dirt <laughs> okay her it looks good um, what else I don't know you know what, a lot of people are going to be like, well, as long as they work, then you shouldn't be complaining. But listen, I paid full price for this one. This one would have been a full price if it didn't have that. Okay, my dryer just buzzed. It wasn't too loud. Now, this one would have been full price if the boss wouldn't have been damaged. Okay, now, the problem is that could have easily I could have easily gotten either two controllers that had a newer counterfeit or I could have gotten two aftermarket controllers for the same amount that I paid for this. Okay. Or probably this. So another problem is that when you if you look at the videos on YouTube where they talk about these, you know, the ones that have the same Serial number that ends in 5225. A lot of them mention that there is a defect. So when you have an authentic controller, when you're playing a game and you have some character that can like walk or something, if you move this stick, no wait, hold on, think backwards. Depending on what character or what game it is. Anyway, you move one of these sticks a little bit like that. The character starts moving, starts like sneaking somewhere. So if you have one of these counterfeits and you move that joystick just a little bit, nothing happens. So you move it some more, nothing happens. You move it some more, nothing happens. You move it again, then boom, the curse starts running. So sensitivity issues exist. I did test these out, well I didn't test them in the game, but I connected these to my PlayStation 3 
to make sure they could communicate. And they did. They did communicate. Okay, but like I said, I quickly, before I even tried to play a game, I noticed that these were counterfeit. So I didn't test them with any game, so I can't really verify about that uh, sensitivity issue. Another thing I didn't notice until I got home after I bought these. Oh, let me show you the receipt of the other one. The blue one. Uh, <laughs> right here. It says V stock 527 and 39.99, which is $40. Okay, this box that the white one came out of, when I got home, I noticed that the seal was already detached. It was like, it wasn't even on this top part. So if it was brand new, then why was that open? The blue one was sealed. So I cut this myself. I put that cut in the blue one. The white one was already open. I have one question though, like, why were these in V-Stock's inventory, okay? The V-Stock buy these uh, knowing that they were counterfeit and then just try to sell them off like they were authentic and you know, try to get some big profit or did V-Stock get these from some customers that supposedly returned it? I returned them. I don't know. I don't understand. But both of these were bought from V Stock on May 27th, 2018. So if you are ever in the market to try to buy some authentic controllers for PlayStation 3 from Sony that are brand new, not used, brand new. If you see some at V-Stock, then you should avoid them because there's a very high probability that they're counterfeit. Now, one of these, one of these I did buy from V-Stock a year ago, okay? It was authentic, no problems. So I don't understand why they couldn't have done that again. So I'm going to contact V-Stock later this week or maybe this weekend. I don't know. I'm just very busy. Okay. I'm going to contact them and see if they'll just give me a refund for both of these. If they don't, then that's okay. It's just $100. Uh, one of my friends told me that there were some limited edition PlayStation 3 controllers, brand new, that I can buy from Japan for $150 each. So... I might just buy a couple of those. I don't know. Um, he also told me that uh, I could buy some PlayStation 4 controllers and they will work with PlayStation 3, supposedly. So maybe I'll do that as well. I don't know. I kind of want those limited edition controllers because those things were sexy. Uh, um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope this video was helpful to y'all. So y'all can know what to look for. Um, but yeah, I'll be contacting V-Stock this week, definitely. So y'all have a good night or a good day, wherever y'all are. And Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder. All right.